The following tools and materials are required to make a rocket stove from cans. Tools Pliers, for bending metal tabs and wires to secure components. Tin snips, for cutting and shaping metal cans with precision. Stick, to compact the insulation material between the cans. Wire cutter slash pliers, to cut and twist the wire for secure components. Materials. One medium sized can. Two large cans. Two small cans. Insulation material. Twisting wire. Safety gloves, for handling sharp edges and components. The combination of these essential tools and materials will allow you to accurately and securely assemble the rocket stove from cans. It is important to have all the necessary items on hand before beginning the construction process to ensure a successful outcome. Prepare the medium-sized can. 1. Remove the paper and open the medium-sized can 3 fourths of the way around to create a flap. Emphasize the importance of safety during the prep work, ensuring all sharp edges are handled carefully. 2. Draw a curve line starting and ending at each end of the cut, coming in at roughly a 30% angle, up the wall of the can. 3. Draw two vertical lines that divide the curved lines into rough thirds. 4. Cut the two vertical lines up to the level of the curve and push the center tab of metal into the can. 5. Push the can bottom down onto the tab and use pliers to bend the two outer, triangular tabs down to lock everything in place. Highlight the structural importance of locking the tab securely for stability. Cut the lower insulation jacket. Second equals 0.2e pause. 6. Take a large can and place the 30 degrees angled base of the medium can against it, centered about halfway up the wall. 7. Draw a curve around the medium can onto the large one. 8. Punch a hole in the center of the star and use tin snips to cut all the lines, being careful not to cut your hands. Highlight the safety precautions and precise cutting required for this step. 9. Check that the medium can will fit within this hole, sloping down slash out at a 30 degrees angle. Enlarge the hole if needed, but keep it tight. 10. Take a small can, remove the top and bottom, and place it on top of the combustion chamber, medium can, at a 30% angle. Draw around it, mark, cut, and bend out 12 slice sections. 11. Insert the small can into this hole so its base is just within the wall of the medium can. Place a loop of twisting wire around the outside of the triangle slices and use pliers to twist the wire tight to hold the small can in place. 12. Bend down the tips of the triangles to lock the wire in place. Make the fuel slash air feed tube. 13. Take another medium can and make a cut about two-thirds of the way around the inside circumference of the can's base, leaving two centimeters gaps of uncut metal. 14. Bend the resulting larger flap of metal outward to about 90% to make a shelf for the wood to rest on. 15. Cut a one centimeter slit in the wall of the can opposite the shelf and bend the wall inward slightly so the can will fit inside the other medium can or combustion chamber. 16. Place the combustion chamber into the large can so the opening of the medium can protrude slightly through the star cut. 17. Twist the feed tube so the shelf is horizontal, with the air gap slit at the bottom. 18. Remove the tops and bottoms from two small cans, cut one centimeter slices into one end of each, and connect them to the open top of the small can in the combustion chamber assembly. Finish the outer jacket. 19. Remove the tops and bottoms from the remaining two large cans. 20. Make four own centimeter cuts evenly spaced around one end of each can, bending two tabs inward and two outward. 21. Stack and connect the three large cans, with the inward tabs Triangles. inside the can beneath and the outward tabs outside. Bending like, so they're just bending the corners in. Twist a loop of wire around the star uh, sections holding the protruding feed slash burn give, tube to secure it at about a 30% downward angle. 23. Fold the tips of the triangles back to lock off the wire and reduce hazards. Highlight the safety precautions implemented through this step. Insulate the rocket stove. 24. Fill the space between the small and large cans with perlite or other insulation material, compacting it with a stick as you go. Cut the pot support slash flame gaps. 25. 
make 4 3 to 5 cm cuts into the top edge of the outer jacket and fold down triangles of metal on each side to provide exit gaps for the flame and reinforce the resulting tabs. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel for updates. See you in the next video.